Hello IT comrades, this is how I would learn software DevOps if I could start over. For context, I work as a freelancer DevOps engineer and entrepreneur. But before that, I had no experience in software development, so yeah, I've done a few things in my life. To tell you what I would change, I first need to tell you what I did. I started learning software DevOps with Course Careers, an online platform that offers courses and certificates from top universities and industry leaders. I choose the IBM DevOps and Software Engineering Professional Certificate, which covers the key concepts and tools of DevOps, such as Python, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and more. What I learned. With course careers, I learned the following topics and learned why they are important for software DevOps. DevOps mindset, agile philosophy, and scrum methodology. These are the essential principles and practices that guide the software development process from planning to delivery and ensure collaboration, quality, and customer satisfaction. Python programming. This is a versatile and powerful language that can be used for various tasks such as web development, data analysis, machine learning, and scripting. Python is also easy to learn and has a large active community. Application development. This is the process of creating software application that runs on various platforms such as web, mobile, desktop, or cloud. Application development involves designing, coding, testing, debugging, and deploying the software. Cloud computing. This is the delivery of computing services such as servers, storage, databases, networking, and software over the internet. Cloud computing enables scalability, reliability, security, and cost efficiency for software applications, containerization, and serverless technologies. These are the methods of packaging and running software applications in isolated and lightweight environments, such as Docker's, Kubernetes, or on-demand and even driven platforms, such as OpenShift and AWS Lambda. These technologies enable portability, performance, and automation for software applications. Continuous integration and continuous delivery. These are the practices of automating the software development and deployment process using tools such as Jenkins, Chef, Puppet, and GitHub Actions. CNCD enables faster and more frequent software releases as well as improved quality and feedback. Most useful things to learn. For me, the most useful things to learn was Python programming, containerization, and serverless technologies. After I learned these topics, I realized that most other software DevOps tasks and tools are essentially based on these concepts. For example, I could use Python to write scripts, web applications, machine learning models, and I could use Docker and Kubernetes to deploy them on the cloud. This topic also gave me a lot of flexibility and creativity, as I could experiment with different frameworks, libraries, and services. To further develop my skills in these topics, I used the following resources, the official Python documentation and tutorials, which provide comprehensive and up-to-date information, the Docker's and Kubernetes documentation and guide, which explains how to install, configure, and use these tools and their components, such as images, containers, ports, services, and deployments. The online courses and certificates from course careers, which offer interactive and hands-on learning experience, as well as feedback and support from instructors and peers. Main points of learning. Which brings me to my point, you need to learn software DevOps with course careers. But why? Let me tell you that course careers is the easiest and most effective way to get started and advance your career in software DevOps. You don't need a degree, you don't need prior experience, and you don't need to spend a lot of money. All you need is a computer, an internet connection, and a willingness to learn. With course careers, you can choose from a wide range of courses and certificates that suits your interests and goals, from beginner to very advanced level, and from various topics and domains. Learn from the best instructors and experts in the field, who have years of experience and knowledge in the software development, and who can teach you the latest trends and best practices. Access high-quality and engaging content such as videos, quizzes, assignments, projects, and labs that will help you master the concept and skills of software developed and they will challenge you and keep you motivated. Earn a recognized and valuable credential that will demonstrate your proficiency and credibility in software developed that will boost your resume and portfolio and help you land your dream job. Now you might have some doubts or questions about learning software developed with course careers. Let me clear the air and address some of the common misconceptions and realities in this industry. Software developed is too hard or too technical. This is not true. Software DevOps is not a rocket science. It's just a set of principles and tools that anyone can learn and use. Of course, it requires some effort and practice, but it's not impossible or inaccessible. With course careers, you can learn at your own pace and level and get all the help and guidance you need along the way. Software DevOps is only for developers or engineers. This is also not true. Software DevOps is for anyone who wants to create, deliver, or manage software applications, regardless of their background or role, whether you are a designer, a tester, 
a manager or a customer, you can benefit from learning software DevOps as it will help you communicate, collaborate, and innovate better. Software DevOps is a fade or buzzword. This is definitely not true. Software DevOps is not a fade or buzzword. It is a reality and a necessity in today's world. Software DevOps is the way software is developed and deployed nowadays and it is the way software will be developed and deployed in the future. Software DevOps is not a trend, it's a standard. The easiest thing to start learning. So how do you start learning software DevOps with course careers? It's simple. Just go to the website of Course Careers and browse the catalog of courses and certificates related to software DevOps. You can filter by topic, level, duration, or provider and find the one that suits you best. You can also read the reviews and rating from other learners who have taken the courses and certificates and see what they say about the experience and outcome. Once you find the course or certificate that you want to take, you can enroll for free and start learning right away. You can access the content anytime, anywhere, and complete it at your own convenience. You can also interact with instructors and other learners and get feedback and support throughout your learning journey. What to do after you have the basics. Once you have the basics of software DevOps, you can continue to learn and improve your skills and knowledge and apply them to real world scenarios and problems. Here are some things that you can do after you have the basics. Building your own project. One of the best ways to learn and practice software DevOps is to build your own projects. Using the tools and technologies that you have learned, you can create web applications, mobile applications, data pipelines, machine learning models, or anything else that you can think of and deploy them on the cloud using DevOps practices. You can also showcase your projects on your portfolio and get help and share them with your network and employees. Take more courses and certificates. Another way to learn and advance your skills and knowledge in software DevOps is taking more courses. Taking more courses or certificates doesn't mean just to have some piece of paper. What I mean is the skill. Again, I am saying the skill. You can learn about cloud security, cloud architecture, cloud native, DevOps culture, DevOps tools and more. You can also earn more credentials that will validate your expertise and increase your value and opportunities in the market. Join a community or network. A third way to learn and grow your career in software DevOps is to join a community or network of other learners and professionals who share their passions and interests in software DevOps. You can find and join online forums, groups, blogs, podcasts, exchange ideas inside tips resources or opportunities related to software DevOps you can also network with other people who can help you with your career goals such as mentors peers or employees to wrap up software DevOps is a very important and rewarding skill to learn in today's world with course careers you can learn from the best access high quality content earn a valuable credential and advance your career in software DevOps if you made it this far to the video I'm going to assume you really want to start a career in software DevOps and guess what, you'll have a great discount by using my ref link, so check out the link in the description, and that's it for now, I'll catch you in the next one.